This video is going to show you how to add a 1394 FireWire connection to a modern laptop right here. My last video I showed how to add a FireWire connection to a mini PC with just an M.2 slot and the same goes for the laptop. Mini PC is really just the guts of a laptop, that's all it is. Uh, so I'm going to take this laptop apart and add to the spare M.2 slot on this Lenovo PC with this adapter I bought off of eBay, an M.2 to a mini SATA. And the reason is because I've got a mini, I'm sorry, a mini PCI uh, slot. That's a mini PCI slot. And then um, I've got a uh, mini PCI slot FireWire card here. This is a typical PCI Express one, uh, you know, one X slot uh, FireWire card. But if you're running this, obviously there's no other for that. Uh, you can even get an adapter that's an M.2 to a standard PCI Express slot, but I've got a mini PCI Express. Um, and so I'm taking the screws out of the bottom cover. I've already disconnected the battery. And here's your M.2, your normal, your hard drive, solid state hard drive. Uh, the um, NVMe uh, uh, M.2 and uh, there's a spare one over here. Now this typically has your Wi-Fi Bluetooth. And so we're gonna remove that because we're gonna use a USB uh, Wi-Fi Bluetooth card uh, or a dongle external. And you can even get them USB 3 so they're, they're fast too. There's no compromise. So take off the little shield here and then there's the little Wi-Fi antenna connectors. And I'm gonna disconnect them. Take the screw out to take this Wi-Fi card out. So that's the Wi-Fi card I'm removing. I'm gonna be replacing it with that externally. And then I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take the ribbon off of that so I can get it in there. That. Place the screw and secure it like that. Okay, now you're going to want to take these antenna and probably put some tape over there, but I'm just doing this for test. Now I'm going to, I'm probably going to run this ribbon cable out. Um, there's a little uh, um, SD card slot here that I think I can get this uh, cable through. Like so, and then I can feed it over to Feed it over to this um, M.2 adapter. Like that. Like that. And then place the battery connection. Put that back like that. Okay, now we have to put the, the FireWire card into this mini PCI Express slot there and then we're gonna lock it down like that. and then we're gonna plug our Wi-Fi on the other side and this is the cable that gives you the firewire connections There you go, there's the Flex 5000. I disable the memory integrity protection of Windows Defender. For it to come up.
going up now. This is obviously the very first time that this flex has ever been run on this computer because it had no calibrations and had to download the EEPROM calibrations from the radio over the firewire. Since this is a 5,000, we're going to change the sample rate to 192. Apply. And I've got to do it twice. There we go. And of course, I got no antenna connected, so you're not going to get anything else. But this is a uh, Firewire running Flex 5000 on a modern laptop with just the M.2 slot and then I've got uh, I still have Wi-Fi Bluetooth from an external USB dongle rather than rather than the internal one and that's it